This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Fifth year in a row, Tequarium brings you what's relevant and best in today's technology right from CES. We are enjoying this virtual event to its fullest and as we share our experience with you, we would like you to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Hello and welcome to Unpack. It's so good to be with you again. I could not be more excited about all the incredible innovations we are announcing today. They continue Samsung's legacy as the pioneer of meaningful experiences that are designed for everyone. Hey guys, this is Evo Aquarium. Our last day at the CES 2021, and today I will talk about a release that was probably one of the most anticipated ones. It is the Samsung Galaxy S21 lineup, which has the S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra. All three Galaxy phones are 5G capable, and after watching Samsung's press release live, I'm very inclined to pull the trigger and try the S21 for my next handset. My choice would certainly fall in favor of the Ultra, but a handset size is the deciding factor for me, and the 6.2 inch display of the S21 is a perfectly sized screen for me. Let's look at each in a bit more detail. One of the reasons that S21 is appealing to me is the design. It's the camera module that is the part of the phone frame which means better protection. It looks great and possibly better than the iPhone's bazooka camera module. Also the S21 lineup has near straight edges and that just looks sexy. The selfie camera is embedded in the screen at the very top and reminds me of the S20 line. The S21, like its bigger brothers S21 Plus and S21 Ultra, come with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888 CPU to the US, China and Korea markets and the Exynos 2100 CPU internationally. Exynos is expected to outperform the Snapdragon 888, but fear not, 888 is still extremely capable. The 8GB of RAM of the S21 and S21 Plus are no surprise and will confidently carry the daily workload. But this is where the S21 Ultra will outperform its smaller brothers. The flagship version with the highest memory capacity will ship with a whopping 16GB of RAM and this is not something that's very common even for some of the most expensive flagship handsets. Camera module of the S21 and the S21 Plus is comprised of a 12 megapixel 26 mm wide lens, 64 megapixel 28 mm telephoto lens, and a 12 megapixel 13 mm ultra wide lens. And this is where my preference would fall in favor of the Ultra. Its camera module is truly a masterpiece as it comes with a 108 megapixel 26 mm wide lens, 110 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, 10 megapixel 70 mm telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel 13 mm ultra wide lens. That's a lot of hardware in one camera module and Samsung made a huge focus during their presentation on image post processing and the AI engine that promises that those images will look spectacular. Similarly, ultra selfie camera that is a 40 megapixel one also outperforms the S21s and the S21 Plus's 10 megapixel selfie cameras. Now the batteries. The batteries power these crisp AMOLED displays and with an increasing size, you also get a larger battery capacity to power increasing screen sizes. 4000, 4800 and 5000 mAh of the S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra respectively. Whether you are due for an upgrade or not, I would urge you to consider this. Having played with the previous generation of Galaxy phones, all this is extremely promising with these new octa-core CPUs and a smaller S21's battery with a capacity of 4000 mAh is truly impressive. Along with their 64 or 108 megapixel main cameras, depending on the model, they will let you create thousands of great photos. Guys, thank you for being with us at the CES 2021. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below and let me know if you are interested in this Galaxy lineup. Thank you for watching as always and see you in my next video very soon. Content format is different this year. CES is once again all about the newest tech and we love navigating through it with you. We do hope that come 2022, we get to experience a live event as we did for four years straight. Stay tuned for more great content.